Hi guys, Fliss here. Welcome to one of my first World of Tanks replays on my new computer. And we are on Ensk, and I'm in my Tiger P. I'm Platoon with Valfarian and the Savage Duck in their MT25s for some trolling time. So we're just going to watch it via my. Well, you'll see me move the camera, that's uh, what I'm looking at. So. The MT-25, it's fast, it's a goddamn nuisance. The Tiger P, it's a slow, but also it's just as much of a nuisance. nuisance. And we're going to see what happens when you coordinate together. I was really liking this matchup. Oh, we had a lot more heavies. I decided to go into the town anyway. It's kind of my, my forte on this map. Um, plus, looking at where people were going, we definitely needed some people to go uh, into the town. So obviously the MT-25 is way faster than I am, but this is not a problem, this is not an issue. 1357F, issue 101. So I decided to try and take a pot shot on this 1357F. Uh, wasn't really aiming that one very well, just going to change the sound settings. There we go. The guns now be less loud. Although I have to say the Tiger P's gun is still fucking horrendous. But I do like that the 88s, the long 88s have this l loud noise, it's kind of cool. They are an iconic gun, uh, especially in this game. Super Pershing. I angle myself. Didn't really go in, and he's using premium anyway, so at this point I'm like, okay, the Super Pershing's using premium, we're not going to bounce him, don't even try. And I go, mm, I'm thinking about taking another shot at where he is. Uh, Elfarian decides to pop out, but to no avail. Fire another shot just in case he's there. And so does the, uh, I think that was the OI Experimental. Or was it 01 Experimental? I'm not quite sure. And then I realised that actually, because our heavies have stayed in the middle, we are almost alone in the town. We spot our first prey, and I set my dogs upon them. I go, take that CDC, punish him for overcommitting so much against this. He's backing off from an MT25. This is where I get to come around the side. The tiger one there, he's not going to have line of sight, I don't worry about. The MT25 is now, this is how they bully, look at this. Look at this, look at this damage they're putting out on the CDC, which has no armor. And then... Execute it. CDC had literally no chance there. They did most of the damage, but I was, you know, able to easily just pump in the second round into him to finish him off. So we spot our next prey, the Tiger 1. I decide to meet him head on. And take take the brunt of the damage if he fires. Destroys my radio. Put a shot into his uh, try hopefully try and kill his driver, and then I finish him off. The MT25's lack of penetration both bounced on the Tiger one, and I was able to get the executing kill. When they get around the sides, the amount of damage they're able to put out is quite substantial. There's a Super Pershing. I try and track him, instead I just do damage but don't track him. Uh, and that sound from the, the, the German crew is basically saying critical hit, I think. No, I was saying that I damaged the tank. I think I did damage his tracks there. And three kills with an execution right at the end, but they set him on fire. So he was burning. That was just fantastic, to be honest. Campus ship 30 J8. That Ferdinand and Tiger 2 could still pose a problem on their team, but we've still got three tier 8 heavies, so it's not the end of the world. The AMX 1357F is our next target, but he has a very quick autoloader, and both of my scout friends are on low health. The 12 ton gets taken out. There goes the 1357F. And that shot. 
That shot was totally ridiculous. I had literally no shot on him. It hit the very edge of his tank, it must have. That was so stupid. But we got the kill. Now we're against the no eye. And by going for the national, I think it's more dangerous at this point because the eye is losing all his health. I don't know if the national is aiming at me or not. I can't really tell. He is. It's fine. I fire another shot into him. But I'm tracked and I've got no repair kit. Fire again. Nashorn doesn't didn't fire because he couldn't see me, I don't think. But at the end of the day, if they you don't think they're moving, they're gonna be there. The Nashorn stayed where he was. He reappeared just as I fired, but I was gonna fire anyway when I reloaded, so would have killed him anyway. I decided to blast through this house to see if we can shoot for the Ferdinand. I go for a shot on the rear. He's on 23 health, which is a shame because if I'd have waited a few seconds, I could have got another kill. But MT25 of Elfarian finishes him off. And that is the game. So, now let's go to the post-game stats. If I, uh... Maybe? No? No post-game stats. There we go, cool. So, here are the post-game stats then. So, we got a first class, we got a duelist, we got a fighter and fire for effect. I have to say though, not really uh, kind of the most impressive of stats. We spread our damage out, but as you can see, very little hits other than on the Nashorn and all those kills. Uh, damage the track on the Super Pershing, I'm sure, and the Ferdinand, I'm not sure what I did with him. I think I might have killed the loader. So check out the team score then. So the IS-2 did fantastic. Fire for effect, bruiser and high caliber. 3,500 damage. Well played to you, good sir. Um, Tiger P in me. Fire for effect, fire from duelist, obviously. 2,100 damage. 1,000 base experience with the five kills. Almost a top gun. Now, here we go. The two scouts, the tier 6 MT-25. 1,300 damage in a gun that has, I think, 85 alpha or something. Is utterly stupid. Shots fired 24, hits 23, 16 pens. So well done to Alfarian there. And got himself a fire for effect for that. And the Savage Duck again, 20 shots fired, 18 hits, 1,331 damage because of fire. So even more than Alfarian did. And got a fire for effect as well. So well done there. That was fantastic. And as you can see, we earned a healthy amount of premium there. And it was a double as well. So that was nice. So what this replay really shows is that on an Ensk map like that, uh, with those kind of scouts against tier 8, it's not really a problem. Surround your enemy, confuse them, uh, have so many guns pointing at them they don't know who to shoot. If you're in a big tank like me, use it to block, use it to take the hits because you can, then your lights can finish up uh, and do most of the damage. Uh, I have to say this was really, really fun, and whilst most people would both pack as a triple platoon of lights or a triple platoon of mediums, Having a heavier, more roadblocky kind of tank, along with some faster tanks, on those small maps is really, really fun. Because um, you can like distract the enemy while your fast friends go around the side, or vice versa. Um, so it was really, really fun. So thank you to my platoon mates for that, and I'll catch